YouTubers! Got a bit of a cold here, but here we go anyway. With our top 10 classic sci-fi movies of all time. At number 10, we've got E.T. I've chosen E.T. to be on this list for one reason, one reason only. One, it is our childhood. Two, it is Steven Spielberg. And three, what other reason is there but to phone home after you get done watching it? At number nine, it's about missing people. That's right, missing people. The Forgotten. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It's a good movie. If you don't go see it, well, pretty soon it'll be forgotten. Next. Stargate. How can you go wrong with a big, gigantic hole? that you can walk into and it teleports you to another planet. Onward and upward. Because I say so. Star Wars. Star Wars Episode 7 is coming out, so therefore it is on our number 7 on our list. Need I say more? Because why? I like Star Wars. Yoda likes Star Wars, too. <laughs> and at number six, we have, of course, you can't do without a good Star Trek movie side by side with Star Wars, its rival. The, the whole craving of a big war, a big juicy war between the two largest science fiction franchise in all of the galaxy in the palms of our hands, people. So, yes, Star Trek number six. Phasers on stuff. We've got Alien. Why? Because recently I've been playing Alien Isolation and I'm pretty friggin' creeped out and annoyed. And remember, at this top 10 countdown, no one can hear you screaming terror because of the fact that well, you're looking at a weird guy in a fedora. Yeah, weird things you come across on YouTube, I tell you what. What are you gonna do? Or you can't go wrong with AVP. Why AVP? Because I just announced Alien. Okay, might as well put AVP in there. It's good. You know, the second one was horrible. It was trash. Moving on. Let's go. See? We have Battleship. I know a lot of people kind of put it down. Some people went, meh. Some people liked it. I loved it. It was awesome. You got battleships out in the ocean fighting aliens. How could you go wrong? Ah! Dune. Now I'm talking the classic Dune. And, as the spice must flow, so does our countdown. <laughs> and of course, at number one, we have... Drum roll, please. Of course, since I already did the drum roll, I don't think we'll be needing it. That's right. Number one, the one science fiction classic that you've been waiting for, the number one in all this long list of top ten classic sci-fi movies of all time. It's actually been quite hard because I love so many. That's right. Close to my heart. Pluto Nash.
Ah, gotcha. Back to the future. With that special blend of dark humor and, of course, science fiction technology gone 80s, which some of it has actually <laughs> been created. You got us. You've got one spicy meatball ready for a recipe of greatness right there. I, was, I kind of had a conflict between Back to the Future and Spaceballs. They both have that futuristic quality with that humor. So you know what? That takes us to this. I decided to put a zero. You don't like it? Take it up with me in the comments below. That's right, just below this foot right here. Stinks so much. If it stinks that so much to you, then this person who watched the video in the first place, put it in the comments below. But number zero, the big O, would have to be space balls. So there you have it. <coughs> now I may said to clear my throat. I have given you my top ten science fiction. If there is one film of all time that you think I should see that you don't think I have seen yet, go ahead and put it down in the comments below. Go ahead and put your own list down below of your top ten favorites. I don't mind. And... Have a scrum diddly on your steak, cause I sure as heck shall, and uh, be sure to submit fat face to cherish life as it comes to you in little bags. Open them wisely and slowly, savoring every morsel of moment that life that God has to give to you. And uh, yeah, and comment, and always be on the lookout for fairies. I'm out of here.